guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We're starting off today's vlog a little bit different than how I normally do. We need to crank the heat up really fast. Okay, so basically today is October 18th and if you guys are readers, you know what today is. Is it starts with us release day. This week is such a fun day for all bookish, swifty fans. Because obviously Colleen Hoover's most popular book, oh my gosh guys, I cannot believe I'm having to do this right now. Okay, anyways, Colleen Hoover's most popular book is It Ends With Us. That was actually the first book I ever read from her, and I read it um, early 2021, I think like in February or March when my friend Kristen had it. Um, and I think it was actually before it got super popular, so I'm really glad I got to read it at a time where there wasn't too much hype surrounding the book. But anyways, I also reread it late 21, so last fall, and it's one of my favorite books. I love it so much. It made me cry the first time. I read it in one sitting the second time. And yeah, it's such a popular book. I feel like a lot of people like it. So obviously when she announced that she was coming out with a sequel, she said she was coming out with a new novel. I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered it the day that it was announced. I'm pretty sure it was like in February. And basically this morning I knew it was coming and I don't know why I didn't check sooner, but I looked, I ordered on Amazon. I looked at it and it said it was shipping to my hometown house. And obviously I'm at school and I can't just like go back and just to pick up a book. Like I don't have time to do that. So I canceled my order. Hopefully it'll refund me. I don't know how that works because since it's the day that it is supposed to be delivered, hopefully it doesn't get delivered and they can just give me back my money. But as soon as I woke up, as soon as I woke up this morning, I went to Target and I ordered it for pickup and I just got a message at 742. This is why I'm so, I'm very glad I woke up early because I'm already ready for the day apart from my hair. And I have my chai and I was just gonna hang out and chill when I got that, my pickup was ready. And I'm gonna go pick it up. I don't have class until, oh my gosh, this camera is so bad, I'm sorry. I don't have class until 11. But basically, this entire intro is to tell you guys that this is gonna be a reading vlog. And I'm gonna read this so quickly, I already know. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and probably make this a completely like spoiler vlog because you have to read it into with us to read this book. So I guess I'm gonna drive to Target and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, I'm back in my room. This is big. It is 8.10, I just got back. I have not looked at the book yet because I wanted to do it on camera. I'm so excited. Oh my God. It's here. Oh, it's beautiful. Of course I like hate this just because I think it ruins it, but it's fine. Um, I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous because when I start reading this, which I'm going to start reading it right now, I just know I'm not going to want to stop reading and I have things to do. I have to do my hair before class and then I have class and yeah, I'm just so excited for this. I want to get the sticker off. I don't think I can right now though and I don't want to waste my time. I am definitely tabbing this, so I grabbed my tabs and I'm gonna see which like color palette I like more. Here's this, which I actually think looks really good. Here's the other one. I think I like the first one more. We're gonna use these tabs and we're just gonna start reading. Um, I'm gonna read the back of it just to say. So it says, before it ends with us, it started with the Atlas. Lily and Ryle have settled into a civil co-parenting rhythm with their daughter Emerson when Lily suddenly runs into Atlas nearly two years after they last spoke. Elated that the timing finally seems to be right to give what they have together a real chance, Atlas asks Lily on a date. But Lily's excitement is almost immediately replaced by dread and anxiety when Lily remembers that R Ryle, though no longer her husband, is still very much part of her life. And although Ryle would dislike Lily dating anyone but him, Atlas Corgan is... <laughs> Is the one man he absolutely will not stand having his ex-wife and in his ex-wife and daughter's lives. 
told from the perspectives of Lily and Atlas. We get dual point of view. Oh my god. It starts with us, gives readers a deeper look into Atlas's past as he and Lily reconnect and rekindle the love they shared as teenagers while navigating a vol vol volatile ex-husband who believes Atlas to be the one of the reasons his marriage with Lily ended. So it picks right up where the epilogue left. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited. Let's get let's get started. Let's see the page count on this. I'm so scared. 20. 320 pages. That is a quick read. Okay. We're creasing it because I'm a creaser. Sorry if you're not. Oh my gosh. You gave us a dear reader note. It was very sweet. And we're starting off with chapter one. It's Atlas's point of view. I'm gonna read it and then I'll update you guys after I read the first chapter. Okay, I lied. We're stopping. So right here, I'm just gonna say something I'm tabbing. Usually I tab like things that stick out to me, but I also tab things that like tell you a lot about a character. So for Atlas, I'm gonna do like colors for this. I'm gonna do this dark blue for Atlas. Like right now they're talking about his restaurant and apparently someone broke in and he's like, I'm not gonna report them because they don't want them to get caught. And I think that pays homage to like his background as someone that was homeless and so that's something that I think is significant it tells you a lot about his character which is why I'm telling it hopefully that makes sense but anyways I'm actually going to talk to you after this chapter okay end of chapter so basically we're seeing Atlas like literally right after they ran into each other in the epilogue and he's waiting for a text and he's worried that she is not going to text him. So that's where we're at right now. And now we're going to go to Lily's point of view, which I'm so excited. I think I'm just going to do the second blue down because I think that makes sense. I guess I don't really know, but let's go. Guys, I hate to say it, but we're getting Ellen letters. Yep, did not. I thought we would be freed of them, but they are here. They are here. And unfortunately, I'm gonna read it so so beware I guess I don't, I don't know okay 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 guys I don't even know where to begin we're on page um 58 I am starting chapter 9 it's going by so fast already um every chapter goes back and forth between Atlas and Lily and we're getting Ellen letters. We're getting the new one, like I said last time I talked to you guys. But we're also getting old ones too. Um, and right now, like, Ryle almost ran into Atlas when Atlas was bringing Lily food because she was ignoring him after they ran into each other. He brought her food. Ryle shows up. And now they just FaceTimed the night of when he brought her lunch, I guess. And they set up a date. So it says, and what if they don't have a lily to save them? And I just thought that was super sweet. I have, um, <laughs> he was like, when he was hiding from Ryle, when she shoved him in her supply closet, he would, it, it's so cute. I'm just going to read it. He releases my hand, but it's so cramped in here for the two of us. Parts of him are greasing parts of me. My stomach knots, so I press my back into the shelf behind me in an attempt not to press into him. But it feels like he's draped over me like a warm blanket. He's so close. I can smell his shampoo. I very calmly try to breathe through my nerves. Well, can I? He asks, his voice a whisper. So good. So good. So good. And then the only Lily tab I have wasn't even about Lily. It was like her. It was actually Alyssa, who's Ryle's sister. So like Lily's ex-sister-in-law, but they're best friends too. And Atlas is walking in to give Lily lunch and Alyssa, or Lily goes, oh God, I mutter under my breath. Yes, he is a God, Alyssa, whis Alyssa whispers. And I'm like, okay, serve. Oh, I can't believe I said that. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. It's good. I'm like trying to peel this off while I'm reading it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep on reading. Okay guys, I'm at a stopping place. I'm on chapter 13, about 115 pages in, and it's so good. I can't believe I'm gonna finish this book so quickly, but I need to start getting ready for the day. I don't remember um, the last time I talked, but they did go on their date. She brought her journal, he read it, and then he wrote her a letter. And she read it and it was telling um, Lily about his backstory, kind of like what led up to them meeting when they were teenagers. And it was super cute. And then she comes back and her and Ryle get into an argument about 
Emerson's middle name, which is Dory. And Riles, like, did you choose that to hurt me? Because obviously Atlas and Lily have like a connection with Finding Nemo, but Lily liked Finding Nemo before she even knew Atlas, so obviously it wasn't. It had nothing to do with Atlas. But they talked it out, and now she's like, well, Ryle, like, did I do the right thing? And then Marshall, Ryle's brother-in-law, is like, no, you did the right thing. You deserve better. And so that's where we kind of have stopped. She is thinking about Atlas. We're going to hop into it. I think we're definitely going to get some steamy scenes coming up soon, which I'm so excited for. I got the sticker off, if you couldn't tell. But I'm going to go get ready for class. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys the next time I pick up the book. Okay, I already curled my hair and I still have an hour and a half until my class starts, so I'm gonna keep on reading. Guys, okay, I'm reading. I didn't mention this. This is like very spoiler, so if you're like still here, um, definitely like stop watching right now. So Bibbs and Corian's Atlas's new restaurant was kept on getting broken into and they kept on saying it was a younger looking person and i was like it's his brother like he has a brother and that was just confirmed apparently he does and he didn't know and so that's definitely the one that's been breaking it's definitely the one that's been like messing up his restaurant and things like that so i know i didn't mention that but i was assuming and it was just confirmed so yeah Okay, thought I would update, so they both have an off day, but obviously Atlas finds Josh, his little brother, and he's trying to get rights um, for him, and yeah, that's like kind of it. We're about like halfway done with the book, and I'm like, what's gonna happen? Because like obviously Ryle has to find out about Atlas, there has to be some sort of custody battle with Atlas's little brother, and then we need scenes of Atlas and Lily, and I'm like, there's not that much left, so when are we gonna get all that? Oh my god, guys. Spice? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chapter 22. They did it, and it was good for them and for me, so... I can't... I have class in 45 minutes, and I'm like, I want to finish this book so bad. Oh. I can't, it's so good. I will say I'm so grateful that there's only been like two Ellen letters I think in this, which makes me very happy. Oh my God, I have like chills right now. It was so good, it was so sweet. And now we're getting Atlas's point of view right after, so I'm gonna continue reading before I have to go to class. Alrighty guys, I am back after a long day. It's currently 4.11. I wanted to go to a workout class in an hour, but I'm like, I want to see if I can finish this and also I want to get my food at 4.30. Set an alarm for 4.30. So I'm just going to start reading um, and see what I decide to do today. So let's get started. <laughs> okay guys, <laughs> guess who I have here? Grace and Ruth. So I basically finished this book. I, I really cover, covering your face. <laughs> okay, anyways. I I ended up rating this five stars and I think that's solely based on the fact of the last letter and the end of this book. It was very cheesy. There was one letter to Ellen, so if you didn't like that from the first book, just beware of that. You get to see the Ryle, Lily, Atlas situation and of course Atlas and Lily just vibing. So yeah, if you guys are looking forward to reading this book, I would definitely recommend it. Go pick it up from your local Burke, Burke store. Go pick it up at your local bookstore or Amazon, although don't buy on Amazon. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Shout out to my reading vlog buddies. See you guys in the next one, bye.